So you join me on Pacific Storm, where I'm going to be taking a zero as soon as one spawns, trying to take out as many enemy aircraft as possible. I haven't got this thing specced out. It's actually the second zero you can pick from because the game does give you two. The first one is kind of a heavy bomber. You see people running with the 20 mil explosive cannons and then the fire bombs. The second one, I haven't leveled it up yet. It's not got any specializations on it. I think actually it has level one. So I've got the HMGs to take down enemy planes, but that's it. Here's one. Let's take it. So you can see now on the right side, it's not really specced up at all. So it's kind of the default loadout. And I'm going to see how many planes I can take down because I've heard this thing is really, really good for dogfighting. Just these cannons do crazy damage. Let's look for our first target. And I can already see all of these enemies spotted over on the flag but unfortunately I can't go over there to kill them because well I don't have any of the anti-inventory stuff so I'll give it a go take it down some infantry but I really don't think we'll have much luck doing that at all we've also spawned in as we've lost a sector and the storm has come in as well which will make it interesting I don't see any enemy planes well, there's one in the distance. Check we're not being followed. I actually see two. One's chasing my teammate. This is always a good tactic as well. Flying in from above, hoping that one of the enemy planes gets hit by something, an AA gun or a Flieger Faust, and then I can come in. Look at the damage these things do, and I'm not even being that accurate. It's pretty crazy. This first guy is going to get absolutely wrecked, and they're in our base now, so... Yeah. <laughs> Smash that guy. We've actually overheated the guns a bit not getting away and that's two kills already you can see what i mean it's the a6 m5 variant of the zero and those first guns they're on the right hand side of the spectre they're just insane they are so good we've got three planes up in total as well so we should be pretty good at controlling the sky it's a nice combination to have i think if you're playing with squad mates at the minute i'm not i'm just playing on my own but if you're playing with a friend one of them takes the flares and the kind of the ground support plane and then the other guy takes the anti-air plane together you can control the sky Let's see if we can sweep in on this guy he's a bit far away really see i almost overheated the gun so that with this early loadout they're not great but close up like that that was 20 damage or something really quickly Let's see if we can loop around he's actually he's messed up there he should have if he'd kept looping, he would have been in a better position to take me out. Oh, did we just get hit by lightning? That was pretty cool. He's trying to get back to his base to get his quick repair, but it's, it's game over, really. Unless he has a teammate helping him out. Yeah. Took him down. Pretty easy. It's also good to level up the plane doing this. I feel like getting vehicle destroyed and taking down enemy planes it gives you good points but at the same time you're helping out your team a lot i don't know about these maps really in terms of vehicle balance i feel like you get way too many tanks and planes especially when you move to the next sector the game will give you three more tanks in some cases or two more tanks which is a bit much and then we've got a guy again flying back to his base you just swoop in above them in third person bang loads of damage and we've been quite lucky as well so far. Nobody's bailed out and tried to like crash into the ground. There's another plane in the distance. He's going really slow. Look at the damage here. Wow. So that's pretty good so far. That's more kills than I expected to get. I think we've come up against some rookie pilots maybe. I don't know. It's a bit of a gamble as well being in their base like this because if like this we've as I say, we've got a guy straight on us. They can have maybe a 2v1 really quickly. Plus, they get their base repair. And I don't have a leveled up plane as well. And I think the Corsair, with the upgraded surfaces, can outturn the zero. I'm not certain. But at the minute, I'm using the mouse to turn and pitch up. Let's just try and escape. Hopefully, a teammate shoots him with a Flieger Faust. It usually happens. Just do a bit of evasive maneuvering. Yeah, but I'm using the mouse to turn because if you use the spacebar to pitch up, which is what many people do, and I actually do have it bound to spacebar as well, 
unfortunately, you don't turn quite as fast. It's really weird. It's almost like the dice got something wrong with the settings, so you can turn faster with the, the mouse. And interestingly as well, see how I go back here to get the repairs, and sometimes I click repair and I can't turn? If I really wanted to, like now, see I pull up on the mouse and you can still turn the plane. And if it's not turning for you because you're repairing and it's not turning very fast, either spam spacebar or like keep on pulling up on the mouse and all of a sudden it's almost like you break free and you can just turn like normal whilst you hold repair. Let's see if we can take down an infantry player. I don't really see anybody. Well, there's a couple of hits. I'm probably going to get fleeted first or two. Yeah, it's always dangerous going that low. Don't really want to do that again. We'll stick to the sky. Let's go after this guy. But the machine guns, they're pretty good at taking down infantry if you can hit the guy you're trying to aim at. But as always in this game, there's so much going on. You're better off with a splash damage cannon. And that's why the ground support planes, the first variants of this Zero, and the same with the Corsair, because they're pretty much the same um, specialization, same loadouts. They're better at this. These ones are more for anti-air. You can unlock some rockets later on, which look pretty cool. And on the Corsair, you get that glide bomb, which is a bit of a meme from what I've heard. It can do a lot of damage, but not as good as the other stuff you can get. I always love sitting in the plane in first person and looking at the, the cockpit. I think it looks really cool. Let's just swoop round to the side here. I'm kind of waiting for the enemy planes all to take off. I don't want to be shooting them as they get off the runway like this, but as they're just going to be farming my team, how not to aim. <laughs> Miss everything. See, straight away, all they do is fly in straight for our players. To be fair, that's what I'd do. We're well, not straight in like that. You kind of want to come from the side so you don't get seen. Oh, we're getting shot at. That guy's just dunked it into the island. We actually have a plane on us as well. Let's just loop around a bit. Might try and move here under the bridge. I quite like doing it. I haven't mastered it yet, but I can get the plane to go under the bridge, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can just sweep round. He's not on us anymore, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's cool. Ooh. Oh, got through. Not clean, but we got through. Get a quick repair. You see what I mean about the turning? Just keep on pulling up and you can still turn. I don't know if it's the same on console, but on the mouse and keyboard, I have pitch up on my spacebar and on the mouse as well when I pull down. There's a plane above us. Let's see if we can go a little bit further. I don't think he sees us. There's quite a few guys down there. Oh. He did see us. I thought that guy had gone to the base. Right, we're going to have to do a bit of evasive manoeuvring here. So what I'm trying to do here is slow the plane down. I don't think he's too bothered, but I'm trying to slow the plane down by obviously letting go of the throttle and then turning left to right, making us almost move further than if we were in a straight line. And he has got bored and he's gone up here and he's going to die now. He's got two of us behind him. Let's see if I can nick the kill. No. Suppression assist. Yeah, so he's just flown into the mountain again. Is that another plane? Yeah, so he's got... It's crazy how these planes appear out of nowhere, but he's going to die as well. He's got two of us on him. Massive lag. They're the lags that I get in this game. I thought I'd got rid of them from not doing any assignments, but they seem to have come back. Yeah, nice little kill. Look how awesome that looks as he hits the floor. Into the ocean. So I don't know how many that is. It must be seven or eight planes we've taken down so far in pretty much the default zero. I'm telling you, this thing is is really good fun if you can get hold of one. The, the issue I have at the start of the game when I try and get in one of these planes is I'll double click on the plane icon and it just spawns me in. There's another one of those lags. But it just spawns me in straight away in the plane. And then I can't pick the second variant, which is a bit annoying. This guy's absolutely done. Oh no, he's going to put it... Yep, put it in the water. See, that should give me the kill, or at least an assist. Same for that other pilot, because we made him do that.
I've also started turning chat off in game. I don't know if you've noticed that, but too many people are just toxic and useless in chat. I quite like at the end of a game, I'll have it open just to see what people say because I think sometimes it's quite funny. But when people just try and insult you after every time you kill them, I mean, it used to be quite funny with the chat reactions, but now I just don't really have any any interest in that. Wait for the, all the planes to respawn. We're doing such a good job of keeping the skies clear. I was actually watching this video recently from Nickerman and also one from Squid. Both are great Battlefield YouTubers. You should check them out. And they were flying towards the airstrips, or well, the aircraft carriers, and using the mine loadout to drop mines on the carriers. And then planes were taking off and hitting the mines. And it's really like, that is super toxic play, and I, you shouldn't do it. But the fact that you can do it in the game, and there's the Flieger Faust, is always going to happen. Let's try and get away. But the fact you can actually do that is, is just crazy. Doesn't really surprise me if the dice have not balanced that. I think we've got a plane to our side here, there. Loop round, try and help out this teammate. Oh, he's going to go in the water. Everyone's just going in the water now. I mean, it looks really cool. But <laughs> I want to get more kills. I want to level this thing up. So what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to keep flying until I die. Then I'm going to go back to the... Hmm, I might go back to the menu and see if I can level everything up. Just get a bit more on this loadout. I think the next thing down for me is either an armoured fuselage. So a, basically a stronger plane against explosive damage. Or the upgraded engine or nitrous. I'm not sure which one it is. So it gives you a bit of a boost. It's a bit naughty shooting him as he takes off. But I want him to chase me and not go after. We've got two guys on us now. That can happen really quick. So I'm going to fly away. I don't back myself in a situation like that. Oh, hopefully he doesn't see us with the Flieger Faust. Nope, we got away. So sometimes if you're in the enemy base and you see two planes, it's best just to get back to kind of the other side of the map. Just so you have a bit more help. And then you see now I can pick my target. So I'm going to go for that guy. He's been shot by Flieger Faust. Easy kill. Nearly. And he crashes as well. Just typical really. When you really want to get that kill. And you've been chasing a guy. And you've been a little bit of time with that kill. And he just crashes into the ground. Our teammates done the same thing. Let's try and catch up with this guy. He's got a tighter loop than us. But if we just keep on going round. We'll work out what's happening. Okay. He's just flown. I think he's flown away, so we'll go after this guy. Uh, we're going to fly over Bravo. Hopefully not. No. Flieger bounced. We got him. We got uh, We got taken out. Oh, we had a plane behind us. That's what it was. I felt like that was a an AA and a plane. So the Corsair does have the same loadout that we have. It's pretty much the same as I said, so you can come up against other really good anti-airplanes. So let's quit out and have a look at this specialization tree. I've actually got that Pacific Tiger skin as well. You definitely need to get hold of that if you still can. It's really cool. I like this stuff that DICE are doing. These little weekly challenges to get a bit extra for your loadout. It's quite cool. So we go back into the company, into the planes. So we'll have a look at the zero. And that's the spit. I don't know why it does that. It's a bit of a bug that you click on it and sometimes it won't highlight. So as I said, we've just started out with this planes. We've unlocked level two. We've got two times 20 mil cannons. I don't want to go that side. I want to go the right side with the HMGs. As I said, armored fuselage or manual supercharger. So we'll go for the manual supercharger. I'm going to play around with this, see if I can get this thing leveled up and then maybe do a guide on it because this thing is really cool. In the meantime, you guys can let me know what you think of this plane down in the comments below. Are you a fan of having an anti-airplane? Do you like going after the enemies in the air as opposed to just farming stuff on the ground? Get that manual supercharger. Let's see what it can do. I'm pretty certain it's going to give me an edge in dogfights. Maybe just getting away or boosting as I'm trying to climb. I'm not too sure. And then we can go down and get some of these cool things. Maybe even deploy resupplies. We could be a team player. Not sure. We'll have to check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.